Well, many people don't know this, but my wife is still a school teacher, and she's preparing to be back in the classroom this fall. She's an art teacher at a private elementary school not far from our nation's capital, and she's already putting the supplies together to be back in the classroom with the kids. And I have to tell you, walking into that, that classroom at Thales Academy today was deeply inspiring. Uh, n not, not just because the school is operating in a safe and responsible way, uh, but to see the looks on all those children's faces. I mean, look, we, our, our kids need to be back in school. I mean, the CDC released uh, additional guidance last week, but the first recommendation they released last week was to say that it's in the best interest of children's health and well-being to be in the classroom. We know the risk of the coronavirus to healthy children is very low. And our pledge to parents across North Carolina and across America is at the president's direction, we're going to make sure that our schools have the guidance and the funding to be able to get our kids back to school. We can safely reopen our schools, and we're going to continue to urge governors across this country, including Governor Cooper, to do just that. Our kids belong in school, we believe, uh, for, for the best interest of our kids, for working families, for opening up North Carolina and opening up America. We've got to open up our schools again.